It's been about two weeks since there's been massive new revelations of Clarence Thomas's helpful financial relationship with right wing mega donor Harlan Crow. And during that time, we try to take stock with the corruption that we've already seen, including the Senate investigators who've been trying to get some cooperation with Harlan Crow and finding out more about what their relationship is. Well, they asked for that information and Harlan Crow is responding the way that billionaires are allowed to. He's just not gonna give them the information that they want. He's refused. No, you're not, you're not getting the documents from me. And further than that, he did send one document, a seven page letter that goes beyond just, I'm not gonna give you access to my files. You shouldn't be asking anyone for this stuff. sort of stuff, he says. So here's some quotes. This is from Michael Bopp, Harlan Crow's lawyer, who says, after careful consideration, we do not believe the committee has the authority to investigate Mr. Crow's personal friendship with Justice Clarence Thomas. Most importantly, Congress does not have the constitutional power to impose ethics rules and standards on the Supreme Court. Doing so would exceed Congress's Article One authority and violate basic separations of power principles that precludes the committee from pursuing an investigation in support of such legislation. So that's like a general principle that they're laying out, but they get more specific, a sort of secondary backup argument. Separately, the committee has not identified a valid legislative purpose for its investigation and is not authorized to conduct an ethics investigation of a Supreme Court justice. The committee's stated purpose of crafting new ethics guidelines for the Supreme Court is inconsistent with its actions and the circumstances in which this investigation was launched, all of which suggest that the committee is targeting Justice Thomas for special and unwarranted opprobrium. Man. I was gonna say they spent their whole budget on their vocabulary words there, but they're paid by Harlan Crow. I think they can afford it. So anyway, I'm not gonna help you. You can't make me, you can't investigate the Supreme Court. You can't have ethics guidelines for the Supreme Court and back off cuz you're all being biased. All of this following, do I need to remind you of all of the, the insane stories of corruption, millions of dollars flowing from a right wing donor to a Supreme Court justice over the course of decades. JR, what do you think? Uh, so this, uh, it's full illustration of the way that many conservatives want America to be. I'm above the law, I can thumb my uh, nose in your face and tell you no, Justice Department or no anyone investigating, no anyone who's looking to investigate ethics issues with our Supreme Court. You have absolutely no authority because they're supposed to be above the law, the Supreme Court and their ethics is supposed to be above the law. They'll say it with a straight face. You're supposed to say that behind closed doors. We've got the smoke filled rooms right in front of our faces now. It says open corruption and they say, yeah, I'm doing it. And there's nothing you can do about it because I'm one of the higher ups in the United Elites. States of America. I'm the elite, I'm the people that control and run this country because I've got money. Openly blatantly saying it and Clarence Thomas nodding his dumb ass head and saying, that's right, sir. That's right, boss, that's right, you got it. Don't expose our relationship to these people. So if legislators, if Congress, if people enforcing ethical rules and put things into place can't investigate other branches of government because that's some separation of powers lines that they want to talk about. Someone should tell <laughs> Jim Jordan and, and Comer, Comer to stop investigating <laughs> the President of the United States. They can investigate him all they want and they're looking like idiots while they do it. But they definitely still have the right to. So when, when are, uh, when yeah. are Harlan Crow's attorney is gonna start speaking up for that problem with the separation of powers and the investigative, uh, investigatory powers of the Congress when it comes to another branch of government. It only applies when it's them is what it looks like. That is interesting, JR. You know what? I think you've convinced me. I think that Comer and, uh, and Jim Jordan, you know what they've got? Unwarranted opprobrium. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, if I was still doing bar trivia with Brett and Brooke, that would be a great name for the team. Unwarranted <laughs> appropriate. <laughs>